Hello Internet, my name is Andrew Etter, and welcome to another episode of Film Editorials. I've been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed video games recently, and between that and the news that they're going to be making an Assassin's Creed movie, I wanted to talk about video game adaptations. That is, video games that are being turned into movies, and why they generally aren't very good. There are four big franchises that get thrown around a lot when people talk about video game adaptations, and those are Assassin's Creed, Mass Effect, Halo, and Skyrim. Those come up because they were financially and critically successful, and so it just makes sense for a movie studio to try and capture that audience. Of those four titles, only two are actually in the process of being made right now, Assassin's Creed and Mass Effect. The Halo one has been trying to get off the ground for years now, like ever since Halo 3 came out, but they just can't seem to get all the pieces together to actually make a movie. Now, if you're like me and you care about video games and movies, then you probably are already aware that video game movies are either bad or they don't do well at the box office, sometimes both. Doom starring The Rock back when I think he was still called The Rock, uh, was both, it was terrible, and it didn't do well. Then there was a Prince of Persia movie starring Jake Gyllenhaal, and that was an okay movie, but it was really just a paint-by-numbers action movie, it wasn't anything special, and that did terribly at the box office. I think the reason why video game movies tend not to do very well is because they remove the main point of being a video game, and that is choice. In the four franchises I mentioned earlier, choice plays a really big deal. So there's a lot of different elements you can choose, like you can choose what you look like, you can choose how you act, you can choose if you're going to be a good guy or a bad guy, and if you're watching a movie based on that, then you're watching the choices that somebody else is making. I mean, that can still be kind of enjoyable if the story's really good, but it takes away a really fundamental part of what it means to be a video game. If someone is going to adapt a book, that's fine, people do it all the time. But if someone was going to adapt a choose-your-own-adventure story, it would be really weird. There's no real way to get audience involvement in a movie while the audience is watching the movie, so the whole choose-your-own-adventure aspect of it would be lost. And that's what you're losing when you make a movie. The director has already picked the adventure you're going to watch. Even in a series like Halo, which is really linear, you know, point A leads to point B leads to point C and there's not a whole lot of variation there, there are still opportunities for you to choose. Are you going to use a machine gun to kill all the bad guys? Or are you going to use a rocket launcher to just blow them all up? In a movie, the director makes that decision for you. I'm assuming it's going to be a rocket launcher just because explosions are really cool, but maybe not. Maybe there's going to be some dramatic tension running out of ammunition in the machine gun. But because that element of choice is removed, it's not going to feel like a video game. The Halo franchise has an added difficulty of the main character not speaking a whole lot, which is also probably why they're never going to make a Portal movie or a Half-Life movie, despite both of those franchises being excellent storytelling. On the other end of the spectrum, you have a game like Skyrim, where you choose just about everything that happens in the world around you. There's just too much to do in that game for it to be an effective movie. I feel like if you tried really hard, you could maybe add some other characters to fill in the whole Civil War subplot, which is really prominent in the whole game, but still, there's just so much going on in that game. I don't think you could do it in a two-hour movie. Maybe two and a half, but still, that's going to be a long movie, it's gonna be a big risk. I don't think anyone's gonna try and make that movie. When the Mass Effect movie comes out, I am totally gonna to be in line to see it, but I'm still gonna be really wary about it because I really enjoy that franchise, and I think if they do what they say they're going to do and adapt the first game into the first movie, I think there's gonna to be too much missing for it to really be an enjoyable experience. It's still gonna be really cool to see a live action version of the game that I know so well, but there's still just going to be a lot missing, and I'm, I'm a little nervous about how it's going to turn out. The way around this big problem of choice in video games is to not adapt a game someone has already played, but to set your movie in the same universe. So for Assassin's Creed, you have pretty much all of history, and you just like throw your assassin character into the mix, and then tell a story with that character. Instead of telling the story of a character we've already played as, tell a different story with a new character. That way, the audience members don't go, hey, I've already played this, and I didn't do it that way. I was extra sneaky instead of just like walking in there with an axe or something. All that being said, I thought it was going to be really difficult for them to make a really good Lego movie, and they totally did that. But again, the point of that movie was that there are many options and choice is good. So it's probably a good thing then that those directors are going to be working on a Minecraft movie, because again, that whole thing is about choice. I just don't know if anyone else is going to be able to pull off a similar kind of success with a movie that already has a story built into it. 
That's gonna be it for today's video. Please leave a comment down below with a video game you think would make a great movie. Alternatively, you could leave a comment down below with a video game that you think would make a terrible movie. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, favorite, share, subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.